You're, you're here to you're here to keep us in line, especially me. So it'll be. I don't need to keep you in line, dude. I'm like I'm like the I'm like the rowdy ass that you have to like. Come on, yeah, kind of like yeah, simmer down, boy, simmer down a little bit, you know. You are. And you rowdy. definitely just got. Man, you just did to me what Vash does to you, man. You just did me yeah, dirty, dude. God. Well, I told him, maybe uh, if we're gonna fight, all I gotta do is lather myself in olive oil, and his entire his entire martial art is over. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, if truer words have not been spoken. Uh what's up everybody? It is it is god damn it. Uh <laughs> I'm, <not> <laughs> I'm just not thinking of Remin lathered up in olive oil and I can't think of it. You're welcome. Let's it's go. Like what else could I say <laughs> except you're welcome. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Overachievers Gaming Podcast, Marvel Strike Force Insider Edition. I think this is episode 32. Uh, with me, your boy Ash Pastrami, got Chef Krondo, and and the lovely, lovely Remin X filling in for Vivash, who is away on work. Uh, Remin, thank you so much, as always, for coming through. Coming through, giving us your wisdom, the, your, your, your dad logic, your overall perfect positive energy that you give back to this community and that that just uh, envelops you always so thank you so much for being here thank you, you got it guys thank you guys for having me it's always a pleasure uh one of my favorite things to do when i'm invited i know oh, i'm late yeah. but you know, yeah. congratulations on your uh twitch partnership and uh like Ash, oh yes like that's Ash right also saying, oh my god because um, actually was just talking about this while i was downstairs but like i it, it, yeah i'm glad that you have assumed the uh, the 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 throne. I'm mean, because I I, one, I, one I disregard OMG. I mean, positions. I know he's in his own. He's he's an excellent person, but I I prefer your content over that. And you know, when Casino got dethroned as like the face, I'm glad that you kind of stepped up and took that position because you're like way better of a person for a source of information and more level. Well, that's the wonderful and, thing about yeah. this shit is no matter what you want to watch or who you like, there's a personality exactly. of a mm-hmm, of a streamer mm-hmm, for mm-hmm. you, yeah. right? Yeah. And I, I, I definitely think I, it goes without saying that Remin and, and uh, has the personality a lot Correct. of us yes. can dig with. Yeah. Well I mean as an older uh, as an older person I, I, I you know it's it's, it's I guess I guess OMG and Valley person. kind of fit into more of like <laughs> as an older person. Well no, no, I, whatever, whatever. I'm thirty five. But I'm just saying like <laughs> like like OMG and Valley are more like entertaining that, like they have that kind of like uh, like Valley I mean, Valley's like a into that like WWE kind of like announcer style, oh, yes. which is like his thing. You know, I'm all about my mom knocking. Even when he came but... in when we PvP'd, he was just Macho Man the whole time. Yeah, I don't know. He wouldn't, Rancho, he wouldn't the get Macho out Man of the, Valley the, Savage, dude. He wouldn't get out of that persona. But uh, uh, yeah. wait, before before we before we go, we have to do. Uh, there is a, there's a structure here, and I, Charlie's gonna yell at me if I don't. Okay, do go it. go go. You can find us okay. at beingoverachiever.com, uh, Instagram uh, OG Podcast, Twitter Overachievers P. And every uh, streaming uh, podcast platform that your heart desires. And, and Remin, please tell the people where they can find you. Uh, Twitch.tv backslash Remin X. YouTube backslash Remin X. And don't forget, Remin Twitter, has a phenomenal Discord. Don't Remin X Force. Remin X Force. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, yeah, but I, I think I think you're absolutely right, uh, Josh. And and I there it, there is so many personalities. And you know our, our our niche little corner that we've had for so long in Marvel Strike Force, where there's only really a handful. If that of streamers is bigger and bigger every day, I swear to you. Like last night, I was watching this one woman. Oh my god, I feel so bad. I forgot her name. Uh, there's a new. What's that? Nora. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, a new streamer right there. <laughs> I, I hang, the large I, I hang all those new streamers. Try to encourage them. It's important to actually have this uh, get more people in the space. It's a lot more fun. Exactly, exactly. The more, the more, the merrier. It, you know, it's never going to be like obviously like Fortnite where there's a million people streaming it. But we we are in such a, a small community that the, uh, the more diversity of content, the the better. It will never hurt. It'll I think there's hurt. five people streaming it right now for about 150 viewers. If I look, if I was thinking about it right now, yeah. Which I mean, what's the player base at? Like, what? Like, I think the they estimated like one point five million or something like that. Is it like? Uh, it's hard to say, but it, it fluctuates. But that's that's the big deal. There's that's uh, something we can talk about later too. Yeah. So what? So it's been a bit since the MSF Insider podcast has recorded a, cu- a couple weeks at least, and since then we've had a couple new characters, uh, some some obviously some a some couple events here and there. What what has been going? Because obviously I'm out of the loop, sure. but yeah. I would love to hear from last y'all. Time, what's been last going time last time we met, uh, they were just announcing uh, the release of Domino and um, yes. Oh my God! Why is uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead and X twenty three, and we yeah. are just now the currently, 
The X Force. The yes. X Force. X gonna give it to you. The X gonna give it to you. And they are uh, they are a fantastic squad. Uh, I'm sure that Remen has more to say about that than I because mine is still at like 180 k. But they're good for cleanups on Mercs and they do it very <laughs> good. well. Good for so, cleanups. or if I or if I come across a you know like a, <laughs> if I come across like a lower Merc team because I am like a lower person in my alliance. So like it's it, it, it they 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 serve the job and they're doing well. So hey, what do you like? Five point five. I'm at six point four million. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. So, but I'm like the eighth Which, lowest in my alliance. So, um, you know, I'm kind of on cleanup it, duty on most times. So, but anyways, that's. Remember, what's your, what's your, what's your, what's your X-Force look? Cause yours is like a 400K, isn't it? Your X-Force? Mine? Oh, 515K? Yeah. 515, 515. So yours is. We're all G14. That's, yeah. that's, that's that, I mean, what? and I think, geez. Wait, your team on, can take man. anything, right? Well, like, I, Remen, I mean, he has to. That Twitter. I has to. He has to. He has to. Part of the brand. It's the brand, baby. I know, he's got it. I know. He's got it. Was it. But was it worth it? Was it worth it? Yes and no. Okay. And, and, and can we can we dive deeper on that? Yeah, of course. That's what I'm here. So, uh, yeah. So, I, I, I think there's probably a, um, a phenomenal character that's released to that patch that I think a lot of people probably will talk about and we'll never talk about it again so that she doesn't wind up as a premium exclusive, which will be X23. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she's actually kind of like the featured unit on the team. Uh, the way her speed bar manipulation works when she gets a character to half health uh, to some of the other abilities that she has. You know, when a character blocks, she can still ability block. It does not get resisted, which is something that the kit doesn't clearly state. Right. Uh, NTW, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, is another phenomenal character with the barrier and, and her speed up on enemy turns. So the more enemies you have, sometimes there could be scenarios where we would use her in... Uh, other regards, but I will tell you that overall, uh, I, I don't like war offense and war defense teams with our current power creep, and I'll tell you why. Why is that? It requires G14 to out- overcome something like Asgard, and mm-hmm. a lot of people are struggling with, with you know that type of scenario because people have brought members, specifically Hela or others, to ED3. And I think that's part of the problem is when you're expecting them to perform and do something that it's going to be limited by gear. And I think that's why I see a lot of people fail. Yeah. I, I've i noticed lately that it's it's the game, the, you know, because I've been playing uh, Disney a little bit, Disney Sorcerer's Arena. And it's funny because I was telling my friend that I, I feel like I have so much to do. But then we got in the comparison of like, that's like the trend with these games, right? Once you get to the end game. Uh, what do I have left to do? And at the current moment, I have two choices. I'm sure you're already past this, but at, for myself, I have two choices. I can work on war teams or I can work on my DD3 teams. And I've been noticing more and more at my level of play that if you are if you're gonna go in on an Asgardian team like you're talking about, if you run into somebody that did that trio with Sif. Thor and Hela, and they've got a G14 version of it. Do that kind of that like, comp- and they have like a tiny Heimdall and a tiny. Um, uh, Loki, you know, like if you underestimate it, it's not going to go well for you. So, 100%. I'm no- yeah, yeah, I'm noticing the extreme impact of G14 on these teams, and it's it's kind of like a good and a bad thing because I feel like with the Fun in the Sun event, they did a really good job of allowing us to really go all in on acquiring uh, a, a good amount of T14 mats. Uh, okay. I personally got three people done by doing the whole thing, and I'm free to play. And what was so, that event? So basically, you could. There were two 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 sides of this. Uh, you could open up orbs. Uh, they had different yeah, premiums, reds, golds. I think you could open up the war orbs and the raid orbs, mm-hmm. and you could get uh, chimichangas for it. So then, once you did that, you could open up the chimichangas, and you could open up either an orange, purple, or a blue version of this. And you had to mm. get you had to. It was kind of like the what, what was the last event they did? Was it the anniversary that was like that? Yeah. The, well, the two year anniversary, and then they did a cyclops event, which was similar. Right. Right. So it was tough. It was a grind. But, man, I tell you what, as a free-to-play player, I felt like that was one of the best events they've done. Good. If you oh, want good. to talk a little bit about controversy from that event, part of the problem was uh, they, uh, yeah, there was, uh, you weren't earning orbs based on completion uh, of, so basically there's a portion earned when you do uh, blitz. You got a cat behind you. Just, <laughs> he just, just snuck he up sneezed, in there, too. He sneezed, too, yeah. He's, just, he's still on the show. That's awesome. That's you, that. Sorry. That's fine. I need to go get my cat now. So the... Uh, I didn't, I didn't catch a sneeze. That's super cute. Uh, he did, dude. He just like popped yeah. his head in there and sneezed and caught everybody <laughs> off guard. So, uh, so the thing about it was there was there was a couple of problems. So the first problem was they weren't uh, awarding uh, the the uh, the thousand orbs. I guess was mm-hmm. was bu- or the hundred orbs was bugged. So pe- so yeah. it had it had no 
A bug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bug. Surprise, bug. MSF and a bug? No So way. there were no 100 orbs earned in the first time. And they, they, they responded to that relatively quickly. They said, we'll get this fixed. And when they fixed it, they also changed the number of times that they got the 1,500 and the 2,000. So those people with the spreadsheets were like, uh, uh, uh-oh. You guys, uh, you guys scaled it back, and they were like, oh, yeah, 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 we'll, we'll, we got it back for you. So what happened was it was over a holiday weekend. So uh, and the other part of that was the orbs were bugged. Yes. Jeez. Yes. Jeez. Yeah, they had double, it's what, like what double. It, the, the first they had a first completed they, they, had the they, complete. they had a completed mini unique but not just a completed mini unique. They had a 5 drop. Mm-hmm. Their, yeah, it was pretty I easy. Know. Did or, you get any of those? Oof. Oh yeah. I only got two. Uh, I was kind of bummed, dude. Everybody's <laughs> posting in the brag channel. They're like, "Oh, look at all this crap I got." And I'm opening up mine and it's like, if you, you guys like don't want to be me. If you'd like to see my <laughs> mystic characters are, are set for some time. Oh, oh sure. Sure. Parchments. I, I got parchments. That's the thing I wanted the most because the lattices are so hard to come by for me at least. Everybody's different. I feel like. Oh, 100%. But um, yeah, it was it was that, that they actually did a decent job of recovering from that. But at the same time, I have to agree with you. It was a little bit. It it was so uh, sweet and sour because like you know you're, you're you're grinding through grinding through. You have an estimate and an idea in your head of like how long it's going to take you to do it, and then all of a sudden it's like, er, wait a second. They're going to shift it on you again, and they're going to take away the thousand orbs, and now you get more consistently a hundred. And it's like, uh, well, wait a minute. Yeah. Like, so it was one of those things where, where it, it almost. I trade you. <laughs> it's okay. It's, <laughs> he's just going off, man. He's like, he's like, Hopefully, hell yeah. I hate he's like, Fox. Where's, the snacks? He's, where's he's, the snacks? He's definitely, he's definitely feel, he feels you're up. He senses the vibe that you're upset about it. So, <laughs> so the, uh, the idea is there is a fundamental problem. But from a perspective as a player, is is so they found out that rub, the orb was bugged. They announced that it would be unbugged when they got back to the offices on Monday. So it was the holiday weekend over July Fourth weekend. So oh. so that there was it would entice people to buy them. Uh, of course, what a, what a what a brilliant coincidence! What a brilliant mistake! What a brilliant coincidence! I love that. What That's a, a good way. What to a put brilliant it. mistake! That's it. Right. You know. So. Right. Right. Man, is it that you a, know, is that a mistake though? Like, we'll never like, know. We'll never know. The bottom. We'll the never bottom, know. I the mean, bottom line is everybody got more is. orbs as a result. They did a decent job right. of compensation. If you paid sure. for them, you were going to pay for them probably anyway. There were very few people mm-hmm. that were on that cusp, but I'm going to pay for them to get this done. You know what you just said is I think a very important important thing. If you're going to pay for them, you're going to pay for them anyway. And I think that. Granted, obviously, bugs suck. Not having the game perform the way it's meant to is annoying and frustrating, whatever. But if you were going to pay for them, you were almost certainly going to pay for them anyway. I think that's an important thing to remember when people talk about spending for the game. People who are spending on the game were already going to spend on the game. Yeah. And I don't, and I think that people spending on the game sometimes get like a, there's like this weird stigma about like whales and people spending on the game. But like they're going to spend on the game. They're going to do it anyway. Like, there's nothing, nothing you can do about it. Just deal with it. People are spending on the game. This game will survive because people are spending money on it but. it was a lot of blitzing and yeah. if you val if you don't have the time to do it you're gonna pay the money to get that stuff done because it's the holiday weekend yeah yeah i mean yeah the, i'm i'm fortunate that you know i just i work for myself so it's like you know i have the yeah. time i can just break out the phone and put it on my desk and just let you know do its thing and it doesn't affect me too much but if you're one of those people that works retail or you know you have like a you know, yeah a manual sure. labor job there's no way you're gonna be able to keep up on the blitz like there's just no way so like what do you do throw the money out there yeah get and some shit, yeah that's just the nature of the beast but yeah. i i i still think it's funny about the beautiful mistake or coincidence that we talk about no, I, think, I think it's very fair that, that's very fair yeah. in the midst of the events and they happen didn't it didn't that happen with the one previous to that as well with the uh why am i blanking out on the on the the event that was right before this where we had to blitz for orbs yeah, I'll just leave it alone. But if you're blitzing for orbs, you're, you're going to either be paid to, to do it, and then and right, then, or you're going to spend the time. So the idea or was we both. thought that maybe they were trapping them for the, uh, you know, that the, there was that because you could they had the uh, what was it the orb that you got anyway we they had the milestone so it looked like they might have trapped some of the, the uh, blitz spotters because they, they actually in all this they actually oh. came out and they said they actually said officially that they, you have received your last warning. Mm-hmm. But spotting will no longer be tolerated. So these things could have all been done to kind of you know examine to see who is blitz spotting. And there were rumors right. that people got canned. I heard, I heard, I heard there were some bannings. I heard there were some bannings. There was a guy that. that put a post up the other day on on Reddit, and he was talking about uh, a guy in his alliance that had been banned and was open about using the bot. And he had he re- he received a three day ban, and then came back and was just back to business as usual and kept botting again. And basically, the guy was just like, "Hey, can you guys just like permanently get rid of this guy instead of giving him a temporary ban? Because it's really not stopping him from doing what he's doing." 
and I what from what I heard well. <clears throat> is that they what they did is, is they they put some kind of line of code in the game that essentially allows them when the response gets sent that they can see what third party applications are being used on your Android device so they were able hmm. to pick out what was going on there so like let's say your your blue stacks or whatever was running an auto clicker like it could it could see that happening in the background so which hmm. i thought was pretty cool i was i was you know i don't know anybody else that knows me i was wildly curious how they were going to actually like figure this out and uh when i found out i was like okay well i guess that's the way it gets done so but they i i it hasn't stopped it i know people that are still blitz botting i'm not going to call them out or anything like that but you know they got it they're going to do what they want to do and uh you know i tried to warn them but you know well, that's what's going to that... end up happening is one day people are going to wake up and they're just going to get the band hammer and it's going to be ugly and it's going to be uh it's going to crush a lot of alliances i tell you if it happens it could, it's gonna yeah. it's gonna break up a few groups of people and it's gonna suck but you know that that's the risk that's, you, that's you, the risk you, you take run, when, you, when you choose to do yeah, yeah and anything. i think that's, that's the point is you know without going into specifics there, there's always going to be some element of uh, exploitation you know, exploitation or, cheating yeah. the, things yeah. along yeah. those lines so uh, you know, we'll kind of move on from that. I think that's, you know, I think we kind of, we, it, it's, hey, let's it's, talk about the fact uh, that they're actually engaging in it, have spoken out against it are, are too big. Oh, steps. it's, it's huge considering they have not, they've skirted around it for so long. Sure. And like, and like in harsh skirting too, like not even acknowledging it, but, uh, yeah. So the other, we have, so we got two new teams, not necessarily new teams, but characters that make teams X force. And also we have the young Avengers with squirrel girl. Mm-hmm. And I know it's funny cause I feel like there's a lot of hype with squirrel girl. Everyone thinks that squirrel girl was going to be like a huge deal. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I saw you got squirrel girl to gear 14 and yep. your squirrel girl is pretty beefy. How, how do y'all feel with squirrel girl and the young Avengers? Interesting team. It feels like they're missing a member. So it kind of feels like, 100%. I feel like the broader, broader spot is there. Obviously there's some people that, can hold the place of it but she's not going to be an impact on war or war so who's the team who's the team right now with squirrel Girl? you could use uh so there's actually probably three teams you can use uh, uh captain marvel uh, is probably one of the most popular ones uh you can use miss marvel og spider-man well miss well there's this so the young avengers have their own team which features miss marvel uh, uh spider spidey miles Mm-hmm. Uh, America Chavez and Squirrel Girl. Yeah. So th- you're you're talking about right. uh, so you're talking about the that's the four characters. The four Got characters. It. So there's a fifth character, which would be OG Spidey, uh, Captain Marvel, or uh, the ever popular. What, what are they thinking? Ultimus until you fight him. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Because yeah, I, I saw your stream when you went live. Also, your daughter was very that was very adorable. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she learned how to swear adorable. from from Uncle Crondo. That's the problem. Was, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, wait, God. wait. Actually. Wait, actually, it was Kronda's fault no, that she no, sweared? No, no, no. Oh, oh, God. I mean, that wouldn't surprise me, <laughs> yeah. but, you know, like, I, 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 oof, I would have felt that terrible about that. That would have been so that. funny. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I remember, uh, what did she kept saying? Uh, crushing your nuts or something? Yeah. I don't know. Well, some, kick, well, it, it, it's it's uh, kick butts and eat nuts. That's her saying. So she actually... Kick butts and eat nuts. Yeah. So she, Hilarious. So she, That's awesome. So she actually knows the character very well. In fact, she's downloading yeah. Marvel Strike Force today, so she can get her. Oh, oh, just start playing. Look at nice. that. A new player wants, enters the arena. She wants to hang out yeah. with that, so. That's there awesome. You go. And you're just going to crush right her in PvP, obviously. Yeah, I crush her before <laughs> me. She's all done. Yeah, she's like, Dad, Dad, look. Yeah. I got a seven I got a seven red star Ravager Stitcher. You're going to be like, oh, kid. Yeah. Sorry, kid. <laughs> Actually, the, knowing, knowing her luck, she'll, she'll, she'll get them all. She'll be fine. She's going to get them all. She'll, she'll be like, hey, so Dad, then, is, this, is this seven red star Phoenix? Is this good? Yeah, it'll right. probably happen. So what is the overall feeling? But so it's just generally we feel like we're missing someone then. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. It just feels like an incomplete team. Just like hmm. kind of like power. Well, not I don't want to say power armor, but you know pre Iron say Marauders Heart, or and, you yeah. know Marauders. Yeah, actually Marauders would be the better example. But with that said, Emma's kit looks awesome in my opinion i think oh you're I jumping ahead jeez go right jump, did, I jump ahead? did i yeah, jump ahead we'll, we'll talk about emma uh, we'll talk about emma we'll talk we'll talk about what's coming in a minute we'll talk about what's coming in a minute let's just say i i we we got the gist of it false start false start my bad we we know we know everyone knows what happened let's let's move into what's coming ahead so i from because again i'm just watching people stream that's the information i'm getting right now so we have beast and emma frost i think i saw the the new intro screen is both of them right correct it's got all three of them so so we can talk about squirrel girl a little bit um one of the things was i don't know if you guys watched the the tournament so there was actually something interesting um based on her usage she was able in fact she was actually utilized between her and ghost rider were probably two of the surprise picks in pvp uh, for balance PvP was because of what she does with the cleanse. So she, mm. so the team isn't isn't bad. They're just obviously missing someone. 
Um, and sure. I think, um, you know, I think, I think there are, there are some uses uh, for her. Uh, so then there, we talk about beast with the X-Men. So that's kind of like the road ahead. Probably it looks like beast will be the next character just based on the way that he was featured in the, in the blog before Emma Frost was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to be doing a beast cosplay. We already showed you guys what it would look like. I'm just, we're going to do it. I'm not doing a, I'm not doing another 24 hour stream. My wife told me she doesn't, <laughs> you know, she doesn't want to bury me young. Um, right, <laughs> right. So have- I loved the Kratos, by the way. Yeah. That was that was fantastic. Kratos is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I look. I look forward. Are you going to paint yourself blue, oh, like for real? Yeah, I, I, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. there's there's going to be a wig because I can't I can't grow hair like that. But the beard will have some unique uh, characteristics. You can get a blue wig. Yeah, I'm, I've been looking. I can't find the right wig. But uh, you get the you can get the yeah, you get the front. Yeah, no, no, you get the front growth, man. Just 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 get a it's, chia it's, pet it's, and spray paint it blue. Put it on your head. <laughs> Does it work like that? You know. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. Char- Charlie's oh, wife is uh, hair and makeup. Is she Super really? So, I, I, dude, uh. so, uh, she, so uh, probably six or seven years ago for Halloween, I was Macho Man, and we were we were on location on a shoot in, like, I think North Carolina, and I needed everything for, like, the next day when mm-hmm. we flew back. So I went to some Halloween store in North Carolina, and I got a wig, and she cut it all up to be to be more in the vein of Macho Man. It worked out perfectly. Oh, wow. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, she's great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's really talented, actually. She, her, she got some really cool stuff on her Instagram. Awesome. Perfect. That's it. But yeah, so Beast. Um, I have mixed feelings about his kit. I, I feel like... What's what, what's the kit laid out? Oh, well, I don't have... I, don't I can lay it out for you. I, I can lay it out for you. So basically, the bottom line is there was a, a data mine kit versus the current kit. And um, basically, he's... The, and the data mine kit was a while ago, right? Yeah. That actually got data mined yeah, a bit ago. months ago. So we offer yeah. some of the team the same thing. So let's just put it this way. His... Um, his his abilities are basically he buffs the team. He also, uh, you know, he heals on his passive um, and heals X Men additionally. So the drawback you have, where a lot of people are figuring how this is going to work, is obviously with the speed up and and the offense up. That's something that the team wasn't getting before. So that's something mm-hmm. that's actually sure. really cool. Uh, and then yeah. additional source for defense up for probably early game players who may not have access to Phoenix right away. Um, and the fact that um, you know he is he, he is. Uh, does have an ability that does damage even when he's healing, so it's it's not a not a bad bad deal. Um, but right. the drawback with the kid is, uh, do you really want a team that's healing Phoenix? Is that is that does that go against the grain of what we're doing? Does it really? It depends. Right. It depends. Like, is it is it one of those things? I mean, it's situational. So, are you in the situation where she can turn Dark Phoenix real quick and then the team get starts getting healed constantly, or is he just going to prevent her from going to Dark Phoenix, which initially or is eventually going to lead to your demise because you want her to be able to pop off and remove the, uh, the debuff or the buffs and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I mean, the, the thing, the thing that I thought I read into it was that beast is going to make the X-Men more raid viable. That was the thing that I actually wanted to ask you about because I didn't understand completely in his kit why that was the case. Mm-hmm. And when I, when I had said something about it, somebody in my Alliance pointed out the whole thing about how he can, it, with him. And I think it's one or two other X-Men in the team, uh, if somebody dies, they still get the three stars on the mission. So that's not a raid. So what happens with this is, is right. he has a very unique ability. Uh, it's the first time we've seen this as an actual ability. So it is passive. Basically, uh, even if a character is dead, it counts as with a two star will count as a as a three star completion. So it's right. Fir- so that enables them to be able to do it with Phoenix yep. for the most part. Yeah. But but I but I guess I'm I'm missing the part about what makes him or. What about him makes that team raid viable? Is it just because of the healing? Uh, well, yeah. Or? I mean, if you have if you have heals, that's kind of the, the big deal. Uh, the fact that you're applying right. offense up, uh, defense up, and regen, uh, the, the double heal and the passive for the heals for the X-Men are pretty high. Uh, there's been some discrepancy. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but it looks like they were uh, people are now saying that the stats that we had did not include the Stark tech when they were released. So oh. we probably will have some more health than we are seeing. I don't, I don't know if that's something I've heard kind of in the background because they're like, wait a minute, that's not the that those aren't the stats that we. Well, his stats seemed low in the health department. <clears throat> so we'll have to take a look at that. So it looks like his health was low. So very therefore his heals were low. Um, mm-hmm. He does give himself energy, but his uh, ability is a six cooldown. So there was concern that he wasn't um, speeding up a team for long enough for you know for it to be viable. The other thing that happened was the interaction with the additional kits. So uh, the idea is like if you look at the kits, uh, he gives. When he's a member of the team, when Storm basics, she gets too charged. So there's some additional uh, text on the kit. So it's not just her kit. It was the, the kit, you know, the surrounding kits were, were affected by this too. So that's something you had to look into a little bit more in depth. Uh, so, um, Hey, Rem, real quick. Do you have the ability to, to turn your uh, input up a little bit, just a tiny bit? 
I should be maxed here. Let me move it. To, oh, really? So. Someone just saying they can't hear you as well. Let me just take a look. It might be the Squadcast setting here. Yeah, I actually don't know how each how if he has the ability to mix incoming in Squadcast. If not, it's all good because I'll have your individual. Yeah, one anyway. is that is that any better? Because I moved the mic just a little bit closer to the mouth. Is that? It's probably just yeah, that. You yeah, you sound, sound pretty good to me. But I mean, you sound great. Podcast. I mean, you look great. You sound great. We we, we, we <laughs> look great. Jesus. Yeah. That's... Uh, so in terms of uh, what is is there like a what is the team then with adding Beast? What is the X Men team? What's the five well, I think people? it's Phoenix, Colossus, Beast, Storm, and then I, I actually don't know. Like, are you supposed to use Cyclops and get rid of Wolverine, or are you supposed to? Keep it, it, each kid has a little bit of enhancement, so you can take a look. There's there's yeah. an enhancement on each one. So honestly, it really depends on the situation. So. Um, oh, I mean, see, and I think that is good because I think, I mean, this whole game could be X-Men characters for how many there are, right? Like, <laughs> the, the, there's, there's so many. So I, 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 what I do like is have more characters for more situations. And, like, the fact that you can swap characters out mm -hmm. for whatever situation you're going into is what we need, right? I mean, Yeah, well, this is a big deal because we're seeing, what, these are three support characters. So we're seeing mm -hmm. support in a new category where we kind of haven't kind of gone away from that as, a, as an overall supplement to the, to the game. So... Uh, it's just a whole patch featuring three three support characters, which is kind of cool. So that means that you can make them more raid viable. Maybe they're more viable in, in DD3 for you. The drawback with, like I said, and we'll, I'll probably go through a quick rundown of like what the pluses, minuses of the X-Force and stuff like that. It's like a recap right before we, we do the end of the session for you guys. But, uh, you know, I, I think I think the, the thing about the kit is Beast was data mined. Uh, and it looked to be awesome, just kind of like Cyclops was when we had those data mines. Like, it's, they, they walked yeah. those back significantly. And so the version that we got, so I said three things needed to happen to make him viable for every game mode. And that was uh, high speed, which he got 116, so it's not terrible. So he acts okay. The drawback is he's acting um, with his speed. He's, when you do the... the uh, when you do the health rebalance for or the, the the health uh, for the special for uh, Phoenix on on turn one, he's going to heal her up. <laughs> so it's kind of like what? Right. What? Okay. Well, I, I yeah, like that's that's not good. I want I want Fe every time I use Phoenix, I want her dead. Well, it, unless possible. you're raiding, and that and that's the question is is this enough, is this right. enough to keep her alive? But even as you go up in difficulty, that that's kind of the problem. It just doesn't. I don't know, man. Like something about that team. Like I just don't. I wouldn't. Yes. I mean, it's good for like a throwaway. For like your 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 situation, like make maybe you got like a, a node like halfway down, and you lost your team, and you only really need to clear one more. Like they're good to throw in there, right. but I just I mean, that's all well, I've I think I think with, with this team, I think they'll probably be able to complete uh, a node and, and maybe even a specific nodes. And there are there is some you know talk about combining him with Sinister and having just a, a parade of buffs going around. So there are there are teams that are on there as an X Men total team. I don't know that uh, that they're going to be just on their own raid viable because the problem you have okay. is we'll, we'll, we'll cut, so let's talk. There's different rates right there's u7 and then there's uh -huh. the, the 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 scale as you go up the scale um there's a lot of aoe damage that'll one shot if you don't have offense oh down or, or or defense up and more importantly probably offense down as you go up in higher levels you know they're doing 300 just... what's that one node where war machine has his ultimate charged for first turn and if you don't get offense down he's just like Bye. there's a lot of them <laughs> There's, there's, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Dude. So that's like you know, it's almost like where they doubled down on Yo-Yo's usefulness as they threw her into premium warps. That being right. that being said, you know, it's it's, it's <laughs> honestly, you know, if you're going in the higher level difficulties, you either bought or invested in, in Yo-Yo at some point. That's the idea. Is that's part of the power creep. But the earlier ones, you don't have to rely on her as much. You can rely on the defense up from from Shuri. So that being said, there's you know, there's there's definitely. You know, kind of a, a two phase running. As you, if you try to go up in difficulty, you're going to need that offense down. So, mm -hmm. as a raid team looking at them as just X Men, I don't think it's enough to keep Storm viable. The thing about it is there's so inside his kit with Storm on Storm special, which is the one where you have the chance to stun. So, if you build up charges, it's like guarantees a stun. It has a 50% right. chance not to consume charges. So, it's kind of like, hmm. uh, okay, great. Well, that's absolutely useless for a 50 percent right. chance for it to actually become a problem and, and taking that taking that chance could be life or death of a team yeah right i mean yeah so well, not, yeah, not even that so basically if, if you're using them to, to power her up and use it on the final boss node because you want to use you know do two million damage that's that's the problem you're going to have is you're you're not going to be able to get it off because she's going to be dead right she's not going to have those charges so you got a 50 percent chance to keep them right fair 
Very fair. Interesting. Yeah, it's funny because I, you know, even when I was playing, I never thought the conversation would be bringing X Men into a raid just because it was always such a foreign thing to think mm-hmm. of. It was never a, you know. But in, now that Beast coming, it's funny that that's yeah. Even so, the, I mean, the conversation coming. So I think I think he's kind of like. Um, I don't. I don't think I'm. I'm I can really. I, and I, and I'll, I will probably get him to showcase him. So you guys, like I said, I do things so you don't have to. Uh, but I. I, I, <laughs> I don't. True. I don't think I can recommend him. Yeah, I don't think I, Wait, I, like for raids at, at all. Uh, you know, for, he's gonna for he's gonna be a luxury character. Yeah, you know he's gonna be a new player featured character for players who bought that new X Men pack that's out there. He's probably mm-hmm. somebody who's gonna do something. Right. You know, so a lot of these characters are great for new players coming to the game. They're gonna expand what they're either have access to or uh, are, are using. So that's kind of a, are these are these, these new? Sorry, go ahead, Josh. Do you think that that's actually like a tactic that they're doing on purpose because they are working on appeasing us at the end game community and they're also trying to maybe give options to people that are newer in the game and kind of give incentive to say, you know, okay, you don't have to go with the shoebox team. Like we're coming out this character and you don't have all the X-Men together. So maybe it's best for them to get beast right away as opposed to someone like us who already have fully developed X-Men right. teams. Well, I, I, yeah. I think, I think that's actually, if, if they're doing that intentionally phenomenal. That, Agreed. That, I mean, like when I started, I, I did Defenders, which was the most boring shit ever. I mean, that's what most people do, I feel like, is you start with Defenders, and if there's another Deadpool, team yeah. you can start out with, like X-Men, it's phenomenal. Well, yeah, if, well, if you buy the X-Men pack, that's 180 of each oh, character. Oh, so, yeah. oh, 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 So, But, I mean, from a perspective of, of letting you, because Cyclops is still unfarmable. So the idea comes down to this, is the support characters have use outside of their team. They also enhance the teams they have. And, and, and all three of these characters, with the exception of Emma Frost are not um, war-specific, and, and the stuff that Emma Frost gets in war is good, but it doesn't make her non-viable in other categories. Well, let's, let's talk about Emma Frost. Let's talk about Emma All Frost. All right, I'll let Krondo, like because, it, I mean, he has a... Uh, well, he's ready. Well, you, got, you got something to say, he's ready. Josh? You, you oh, I'm happy. I'm excited about Emma oh, you're exci- Frost. Oh, you're excited? I, I'll tell you. No, I, I'm super excited. Oh, okay. I, I love... Like, Emma was my first uh, character. I got a 4, four and 5-star in... Uh, what contest? Contest of Champions. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I really grew to like her character. I didn't know anything about her. And as I was, like, She's a working wild through the entire game... I was like, I got to look her up. So I started like looking into who she is. She's, she's bad. actually like a she's bad. badass. Yeah, she's bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and so I like the fact that A, she rounds out the Marauders team, which I have a fat Marauders team. So for me, I, I'm excited about that. I mean, even though it's a war defense team. But don't you whatever. have like a ridiculous but strife or something? Or my thing is I have a five red star strife. I got a five red star sinister. I've got a five red star saber tooth. And it's a, pretty well on it. Yeah. I think four red star mystique. So I mean, it's, so look, for me, it's a good team. I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying a word. <laughs> like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're not, uh, but that's. But I mean, so so I am assuming that you also are are looking forward to oh, yeah. what her capabilities are because I think she I, honestly, like, I think the biggest gripe with that team is that Strife, Strife is sucks. a halfway decent tank, right? So with her in the party, though, she actually makes him a bit of a better tank, in my opinion. I don't know. I mean, it's it could still be one of those situations where you could take an Aimtron team in there and just. Crap on it, no problem. Right. But uh, so aim um, not going to work mean, anymore because you're not going to be able to put debuffs on a target. Because we'll talk a little bit about the kit if you really want to go into details. So oh, yeah, I did. So, yeah, I'm very so yeah. one of the cool things about her kit is uh, first they did a really good job, I think, honoring what she does uh, in in probably the the lore with only really three abilities and a passive. So the fact that she's an Omega level, you know, mind control is going to be kind of there. Plus the fact that she can turn into um, Full, the, undestructible, yeah. fucking stone. <laughs> she could, dude, she's the white or diamond. Queen. Yeah. Right the diamond. Yeah, yeah. so the, the diamond uh, form. So one of the things ab- about it is, um, so when she has that charged ability, she's like she's like in full on diamond form. So she's like got a ton of armor and a ton of resist. So you're not landing anything. And so I think she starts in war like like with that. Uh, the next thing that she does that's very unique is on her passive. So I think this is the biggest impact I think it'll have on the game. Period. Is she's actually going to be the first character to affect. The opponent's speed, not speed bar, but speed. So she's going to be adding ten percent speed. Okay, negative ten percent speed, and and the cool part. Oh, you mean like their their base? Yeah, their, their base bare, speed. It, it looks like yeah, their base speed. And so the interesting part mm-hmm. about this is is uh, as a new player and you get her, she does this at the first tier. She only really gets her. Um, 
like like the rest of her tiers is the on heel uh, percentage. So she's actually going to be a good character for like a, like a starter character. Like if you get access to her, she's going to be a phenomenal character. She's always going to be able to make that team. So from a PvP perspective, from you know changing the way that you're doing certain fights, the fact that that she goes in line. So let's say you bring Aimtron in there. Well, by the time her team goes, they're going to be removing those buffs. Because that's what's going to happen. Is she's going to go, and 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 those buffs are going to get removed. So it's actually pretty, pretty powerful. Um, the fact that she does the, um, so she's got a very interesting mind control because she calls units to attack. So it's kind of like a Loki ult, but it's a little bit different. Um, so they they can they they get called to attack from her ability. She blinds the target, so if the target li- uh, is alive when it's done. It's blind. Um, but the two highest damage for either her team or enemy team. So if you bring a big beefy team in there, they're calling the highest attack damage on both tar- targets. And if that person dies, they apply bleed to the next, the next target. So it, like adjacent or, or just, just the next person they hit. Um, How does that work? What do you mean? So it is um, basically she targets somebody, and then um, it goes to the next. What is it? Speed bar? I believe it's speed bar. It's either speed bar or attack. I think so. What happens is it targets somebody randomly, so it could be a taunt. Right. So it'll call two people, either the highest to attack on, on both teams. Right. And then if that target's dead, it'll now target the next highest speed character. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah, so it, it, that, if the that's, primary target that's is killed, intense. apply blind to the non-summoned enemy with the most speed <gasps> yeah. bar. Dang. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it is speed that's bar. Yeah, it's, like, there's so many cool yeah. things here. Uh, they've got a... The diamond form ability looks incredible. Yeah, yeah it's immunity. D- does it if charged if charged clear charged bury yourself for 20 percent of this character's max health clear all negative effects from self and all allies apply immunity to self and all mutant villain allies so that's right it's better, better. Yeah. apply slow yeah. to all yeah, enemies she's, and gain she's charged. so good she's gonna be so she's gonna be yeah. somebody you can you can apply to she's some okay i might say she could be a dd3 viable character i'm i actually was gonna agree with does, you I mean, does she, she make Mara- this sounds like marauders is now gonna be Top, like, top uh, Marauders are going to be very Emma? dangerous, and people are not going to know how to beat them right away. Right, I agree. But I mean, it's it's kind of classic, right? Well. That they they make it this way because they well well well. I mean, don't they don't they always like kind of in wars they'll they'll give it a, a, an offensive team an advantage and then a, or they'll give a defensive team an advantage and, and then the like offense. a couple weeks well, later the they'll come out with some kind of team that be can beat it. I mean, Black Order. Well. I mean, Black Order still probably could beat this team very. Uh, it, it, it would be interesting not. because you don't forget you can clone a character, and depending what character you clone, yeah. you got immunity. So a lot of what they do is debuffs, but they also flip because you're controlling Black Order. You're going to be flipping the buff, the buff, so that that could be immunity or it could wind up being disrupts. So you you're in control of that. So yeah, uh, it's one of those things though where it's going to change your matchups, right? So a lot of times you probably have a matchup that you're like, I'm going to use my Black Order if I see this team. So mm-hmm. it's going to change yep. the matchup. So from a war scenario, it'll change right. the matchups, but it, it, it will make Marauders a lot more powerful. I mean, yeah. to say the least. And a lot of people have a fat Marauders team already. Yeah. So it's like, just plug her in there, and you're going to have a really good war defensive well, team. Well, and, and, and the thing is, so she also spawns and gives ta- uh, defense up to, for two turns to the team. So that For two that's turns. That's on spawn. Yeah, so that means that, that, like, you know, the strife that doesn't have defense up on its own is getting it. Dude, yeah. Th- while charged, gain four hundred percent armor and five hundred percent resistance. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's she that's is pretty be so beast mode, She has dude. the highest focus stat she in the game, so, so, it's, so it's 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 just yeah. it's gonna be crazy because she's flipping buffs too on her basics. So it's pretty insane. And yours. I love how every. Go ahead. No, no please. I, I, I love how every one of her abilities are just fat. Like, like mm-hmm. it's not like right. her. Like even her, even her basic attack primary target for two hundred ninety percent damage flip two positive effects to negative effects. If charged, attack primary target for three hundred forty percent damage plus clear two positive effects. Emit her instead. I, I mean, that's like that's 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 pretty big. That's pretty big. That's like every one of her abilities do something really, really yeah, good. Yeah. It's not like one of those characters where she has two I, two attacks and then her main one is just mm. does damage or something like that you know it's like she actually is a full and she's on the legendary that's the other thing like that that that's she has she's better than some of the right some do, of the we know, do we know do we know how we get her has it been announced <laughs> oh they said yeah they no. did it was in the, it was it was in a box did they how we how we get her what's well she what's doesn't the have the yeah she said they said they look she... forward to her in the diamond uh blitz oh, of course Oh, okay. Well, yeah. have fun with that. <laughs> I will. Have fun yeah, with they that. Did say, I'm, I'm right. Well, I will. I think, I think that. I think that was in the blog, right? I read the... 
Why it do you think sense. I was trying to win those iTunes gift cards at this wedding shower? <laughs> right. Exactly. Wedding shower. Exactly. Wow. exactly. Yeah. That's true. True. <laughs> that sounds really fun. And 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 uh, you're thinking X Force will be the. I think X Force can beat most teams uh, with with right. adequate power. The thing about it is the lot. You know, they're they're a very fast team, so uh, there really isn't right. much they can do to to to, to stop it. They're going to be doing a lot of offense down. They're going to clear that defense up on Spawn. Um, so they're going to be able to get through a lot of the defenses. So X Force will probably beat the team if you have a comparable power one. I don't think it's going to be a punch up scenario. Uh, there's just right. less of a damage or less of right. a um, element of ruin to it. Well, you know what they say X going to give it to you. X so. going to give it to you. <laughs> some, some would say. Uh, anything else you guys are excited for coming on the horizon besides uh, Beast and Emma Frost? Anything we know of? Any cool events? Any, uh, so any cool stuff? There's a, there? one more rumor. I don't know if you guys heard about it. Oh my God! Please are, do. Are you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you talking about the one the Valley just covered? In the did last he cover it? Your boy let's, loves. Let's go ahead, say it. Your boy loves gossips. Well, I, I mean, it's. Are you talking about the yeah. next legendary character? Oh, yeah, Doc Ock. Doctor Octopus. Yo, yeah. Doc Ock. What? Okay. I, I. I. So in your stream the other day, Raymond, I'm so happy you brought this up because I forgot. You said pretty much confirmed. Why? How do we know? How do we? Know so we that? don't. We know that they're at least working on it. Uh, it looks like there's a legendary event that's. So the the data mines look like they're working towards a legendary. Um, event that's going to use X-Force to unlock it. So that's a data mine. So we don't know for sure. Right. And when I say pretty much confirmed, the fact is that there, there is some data mines that show Doc Ock on there. So we don't know when it's released. Right. Interesting choice of a legendary. I knew it was going to be the damn X-Force. I well, knew we don't, it would be we don't. So the thing about it is they can, they can still I know we change don't know, it. But... And that's the thing is, right? right? That's something that is very, very... Which we've seen before. We've seen yeah. data mines change before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, but I, I I think that like I like I, Doc Ock is a really cool character, especially in the last couple in the last like probably six or seven years comic wise. The dude has gone through one of the biggest transformations of probably any character in the Marvel universe, I, and I I I say that for, from reading comics. I think genuinely, genuinely. But interesting choice of a legendary though. Like, is he legendary status? Is Doc Ock legendary status for a character? Like, why why Doc Ock? Why not Emma? I think Emma is like more well I, of, so, a, of a character. So I mean, if, if we think about legendary characters, uh, I think you could have taken any one of the. Um, you could take any one of the characters from Fantastic Four and make them legendary. The legendary character isn't about what they necessarily bring to the Marvel Universe as much as they are to the kit that they have or what, sure, what, what sure, sure, the, sure. the team they have. So we have to just remember that I don't think it's like, you know, so it's not like we're going to see Silver Surfer's legendary character, even though he, well, we might, but, you know, so it's always kind of that balance of, a, you know, is Iron Man a legendary character? Sure, he's, he's legendary, but if we go through it, Nick Fury, I get it. Um, but Invisible Woman, Shuri, to some degree, you know, why was she legendary? And and, and again, it's just it's the feature characters that will will bring the team up. A legendary in any team That's a good point. will actually That's enhance the team. So Sinister Six has been lacking since they've been released. And and that was the reason sure. why they were <laughs> I, I and I, I don't know if you guys remember, but uh there was a lot of debate over what the unlock was gonna be for Invisible Woman. And I was like, Sinister Six, they're like, nah, no way. And I'm like, Yeah, just because they were they weren't well received. And right. I'm like, I'm like, mm-hmm. if, That's a good point. if you're if you if you're sitting at a spreadsheet in a marketing department, you're like, oh, what's going to make us the most money? <laughs> I mean, it's you know, yeah, that's exactly what it does. Uh, so, you know, from my perspective, is X Force going to be it? Well, if X Force was well received, and you know, it may not be. Uh, so it could, you know, these things could always change. But it looks like it. So you're saying it could be the hand team? Well, is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> you know, they did. They kind of did that with what you kind of already had on your roster with um, Phoenix, and they made her a six star unlock. Mm-hmm. So if they did that, we I would expect to see the next legendary be a six star unlock. That being said, this is very when it was coming out, it was very familiar to. Uh, it felt like Asgardians, so it was why I was yeah. like saying it was almost. It was, so it's almost confirmed because we're starting to see the data mines come out of it. So it looks like the patch notes that they're at least working on it. So it kind of kind of coincides. I feel like they would choose him out over Emma Frost because I got to be honest with you, dude. You know Emma Frost is going to sell a shitload of oh, packs yeah. for him, like a lot. Like a lot of people are going to be buying into Emma Frost. And I got to be honest, I don't think that the same amount of people would buy into Dr. Octopus. Like he's awesome. I'm not knocking him. I just feel like fan favorite Emma's way more popular yeah, than Dr. Octopus. Well, that's Octopus. the thing is you got to think about it, right? Any legendary is going to generate a ton of money. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You know, so an iconic character like Symbiote Spider Man doesn't have to be legendary, even though he's a legendary kid. God, he's so good, though, he's man. Like, he's, like, he's iconic he's... in that regard. He's probably, I, I think, one of the top, what, three most recognizable, the 
the, the symbiote version of Spider-Man. Like it was one of the best stories yeah. of all time. Yeah. Uh, I, I think, I think this whole, it is, it is funny right now hearing the, not even debate the conversation of which Doc Ock they're going to use right now, because there's three prominent Doc mm-hmm. Ocks. We have the new lady octopus that's in the, the, the sinister syndicate, whatever the fuck they call themselves. Sorry for cursing. We have the, well, no, the, the, what the, the sinister. Oh, so, you mean in the other universe? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. No, no, not, no, no. In 616 right now, the new sinister six is an all female te- team of Scorpia, lady octopus, Electra, and a couple others. Uh, and Lady Octopus is currently the Doc Ock of 616. We have the actual Otto Octavius, who's in the clone body of Peter Parker, and he's acting as Superior the West Spider-Man. Coast Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. As Peter Spider-Man, thank you so much. And then we do have the Spider-Verse Olivia Octavius. And, I, and, and it's interesting, this conversation of who are they going to pick? I mean, I think they're going to do classic. It's going to be like... like doesn't matter. It's just the 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 iconic face of Doctor Octopus. It's very, it is, I think it's an interesting conversation. And that's what I love about the Marvel universe is that we have so many dang characters, mm-hmm. and then we also have whatever alternate version of some other universe that, that might exist to them. And I think it's fun that it's like, you know, Marvel Strike Force is its own universe within the Marvel universe. Like, who, I'm curious what number they would give it. Whatever number Did they it actually might talk be, about but, that. Do they? You said. I thought they did at some point. Maybe I have to look into that. They pro- it's probably in a story. So I bet you want to. And if you, and also, I, I would like to say this. When I was playing, one of my favorite things about Marvel Strike Force was the uh, the story mode stuff. Like they, I think the story of Marvel Strike Force is pretty fun. And I think it's it's pretty good. And I feel like a lot of times we skip over this shit really fast when we're doing this, the events stuff. We just want to get to like the the hard mode and get as much. Uh, shards as we can to open up orbs for whatever character we're trying to get from a story campaign. But I think they're fun. I really do. I think it's a good story, but so I'm hearing that you are so excited about all this com- stuff coming out that you're considering coming back. To no, this game. no, God, hearing. no, that's what I'm hearing. Never, you say. never, no, literally, <laughs> literally never coming back to this game. So what I sign in every two weeks just uh, for my, yeah. just to keep my account active to, for my war defense. So, so the, what the would you, what would it take for you to, to come back to the game? If there wasn't the, the, if you didn't need to do as much shit to to do to be viable to play the game, mm-hmm. I, I if I came back, I would never blitz again. I so if so I, blitz simulator, maybe okay, maybe so yeah. Simulator. All right, let's so just we'll check it one. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, if if getting characters didn't require so much effort, whether it be from event campaign, from a blitz, from from any of these things, if if it, it, it just if, if it was more so, casual, I mean, and I know you can you can choose to play, blitz. you can choose to play more casual, but like I said, one of the reasons I stopped playing was because I got too into it as a routine, and it and it and it kind of like messed with my head a little bit, and it, you feel like it had too much control over your life, just my just my daily routine, yeah, I just wasn't yeah. I just wasn't happy with how, and that was on that that can be put on me. The game, I don't like. The game doesn't force me to play it, but it just became a thing. Yes and no. I mean, but that's 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 a. I mean, that's a whole. That, that's a kind of a rabbit hole conversation because I got to be honest with you. I've I've been ne- noticing lately that I spend way too much of my day playing mobile games, so I cut a lot of my stuff off. And MSF has like stayed as the most prominent one that I play for multiple reasons. One, because you know we always talk about a community. Two, I just for some reason I've played so many games for X amount of years. For MSF, I've been playing since day one, and I don't know what it is about the current state of the game, but I really like it. Good, and I for a bit, I feel I don't like you know were why. not feeling that. Like, and it's good. To, it's good. Yeah, to I know. You. And I took a break, and 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 I don't. I really cannot explain to you why I'm enjoying it as much as I am. It might be my because my alliance. It might be because I'm enjoying the characters they're releasing. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it is headed in a good direction. Well, well let, let me they, say, I do not for one second. I don't think the game is bad. There's problems mm-hmm. with it. There's bugs with it. There are things that are annoying to deal with. I don't think the game is bad. Like I said before, I think the writing is very well done. I think it's a very fun story for you know whatever for for those that don't just hit the skip button. I think the <laughs> characters are awesome. It's characters I've grown up with since I was a kid, and I'm very happy to be able to have them in some some cool some cool way and to to mess with them and sure. try different teams out. Whatever. I think it's always good. I just think that knowing me as a as a person and how I do things. It's hard for me to get back into a game where I would just – I know I fall right back into it where – dude, like my boss says something to my girlfriend like sometimes Dom will like – they know. But everyone knows that when my phone is like this, they know what's going on. You know, They're not stupid. And I've been caught before at work like just like – What are you playing now? Uh, video game-wise? Yeah, just Diablo. 
Oh no, uh, Diablo Division Two back in the Destiny Two. Nothing, on, but nothing on your phone. No, no mobile games. Okay. And that's the thing. Mobile gaming allows you to play it mobile. You play it whenever and whenever, you know? And I, I, I think the thing too, Remen, and I, I want to get back on track in a second. I, I think that this is the thing too, is now that I am home, like it's easier for me to say this because I'm not outside of my home. But now that I'm home, I have access to my computer, my Xbox, my, my mm-hmm. you know, the stuff to, to play the games that I quote unquote want to play. It's not that I don't want to play Marvel Strike Force, but it was easy to play it when I was not at home because it's a video game that I can play anywhere, right? Sure. Uh, and I, I, I'm curious if I wasn't stuck inside because of, of quarantine and stuff, that if, if I would have quit the game. I, I don't think I would have. Well, you, I, I, think, I, think, I think that's the thing, right, is, is you quit the game because you were camping and you felt like it was a, an interference. So I think maybe that I – think, I think it was just time. I think probably, you were probably fed up with the – I think so. You know, so it was just – there was a lot of little things. So the yeah. routine. I still think – and again, I still think the game is great. I'm not going to be playing it. I still come to your stream every goddamn time you're ah, on. I appreciate so, it. You know what I mean? Like, thank you so much. You know? I, that support well, of course. means the world to me. I, we have a phenomenal no, community I, that, that uh, I think – wants to help and learn from each other and it's i think it's a great place it's great it's really great i think i think that we are very lucky with the the collection of streamers that are that stream that, that play this game i think yeah, i think we're, we're genuinely lucky uh tangent. so i'm actually in in the middle of my in the middle of my like i don't want to say it was a tangent because i was mainly kind of saying how much i like the good. game i'm actually curious i'm actually curious how you feel about the state of the game right yeah, now right? so uh, i think it's a great question so I, I i there's there's parts of me that love it and there's parts of me that are frustrated because I still feel like there's still uh, a little disconnect that I, I still look at the offers that come across every day and I feel, still feel like the, the the thirty nine ninety nine or twenty nine ninety nine for fifty or whatever still feels a little bit bad. It feels bad, man. Yes, yes, sure. yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I it's, just, it's one of those things where I I wish they would make less money on more people. You know, it's just basically I wish mm. they would just realize that they can convert more people into a perspective, you know, to buying and it was more invited more people to either spend and made things more accessible to everyone. So, sure. you know, the, the thing about this is if it's one point five million people, think about what would happen if it was four million people or five million. How many people are they chasing away? Because people are like, what the what the heck? It's fifty dollars for a brand new right. character, which, by the way, right. I'm sure. giving away five Emma Frost on my channel. That was unlocked by a couple of viewers. They hey, I got over two thousand subs on Twitch now. They got me, so Jesus that Christ. so that meant I unlocked. <laughs> you have over two thousand subscribers yeah. on Twitch. Oh, beautiful, Mazel Tov. So, so, oh, so, damn, that, son. so what that did was it unlocked uh, five giveaways for for Emma Frost. Uh, we're going to be doing it. So I expect her to be fifty dollars, fifty dollars, because she's a hundred star on luck. Hot damn, yeah, absolutely Remen. beautiful, so, Abs- absolutely beautiful. What happened, dude? Did you? Did, did, I, I, know, mean, here's, I don't here's, even. I didn't even know there were that many people that watched the, here's the Twitch what, here's community. Here's what happened. There is something about your stream. I don't know if it's specifically to you, Remen. When the hype trains, hype train starts. I've I've noticed your your stream really takes it. They take that hype train and they roll with it, and it is I, it's like impressive. It's That's impressive. Awesome, All man. I can say is um, I use a lot of it to give back to the community. Obviously, I'm a full time content creator, sure. so transitioning from my previous uh, lifestyle to this one is a little different. Um, so I appreciate it because that's helping me get off the ground. And uh, <laughs> so, did you? I mean, I'm curious. This is this is kind of getting off. Well, we're not off topic. We're still talking about Marvel Strike Force, but I. So you, when when Corona hit, you or excuse yeah, me, yeah. whatever hit. Uh, you did you lose no, your I job? I lost my job. Quit? So basically, what, happen, like, what happened was the industry okay. I was in, which was we'll, we'll say ISP, um, they cut back on pretty sure. much every department, and it was only a matter of time. But I mm-hmm. was managing the the uh, direct sales. All right, so direct sales, which okay. essentially was door to door, teams just were gone. Yeah, good good luck. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Gigi. Right, we're right, in right, our exactly. full body, uh, you know, um, suits here. We're gonna yeah. We're, we're, we're going to be uh, cold emailing yeah, so, people from now on. The bottom line is the industry just kind of you know disappeared. So uh, as a result, yeah. uh, they were like, we don't longer need you. We'll call you back if we do. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to start doing something else. So for me, that specific thing was, you know, I got a little more into streaming Marvel Strike Force. I have been doing it like part time since October. Uh, but because, you know, sometimes my nights would run late. I wasn't I wasn't uh, you know, doing it. So uh, I started doing it in March. And then by May, I was partner. And it was actually right the day the day of your podcast. Awesome. I found out in an email, like right after the podcast was over. I was like, "What?" I know. I felt bad. I when I, I had at, no that idea. night you, you were streaming. I was like, "Yo, congrats! Oh my god!" Yeah, was, you know. <laughs> did you did you get that on your first Second try? Time. I'm just curious. 
Uh, you know what's funny? People always tell me that you never get well, it on the first try. That and exists I, for a lot of weird things. Well, I, I think like. that's okay. I mean, so, well, honestly, that it's like you know, if, if if the first time you got something, it would feel less uh, rewarding and more important. Possibly, I think. Possibly. I think sure. more importantly, there's probably, you know, from a business perspective, is can this can this guy sustain what he's doing? Is it a is he a, is he a I almost think that they they do that to vet people that are either a you know easily turned off by something so that they you know like they go in for the Twitch partnership on first time and they, they get denied and they're like oh screw yeah. this I'm not gonna do it anymore yeah, and there's the people be. that actually want to like listen to what they have to say as far as like hey nice try but come back in a couple weeks when you've got more viewers more whatever and then if they see the growth they're like okay this dude obviously knows how to take either a constructive criticism or b just knows how to grind it out so that probably you know yeah you know uh, anyway and that's the thing is that's like, awesome. it's awesome. like from a perspective of uh you know um this community is uh there are actually quite a few people uh so i think if, if we if we went through this uh when i do my 24-hour streams there's something like eight to nine thousand unique viewers who stop by the channel interesting so interesting Wait, you say one more time i read passing wins comment and it completely threw me off track what sustain it like the ladies well, I, yeah, yeah of course pw dropping dropping the, the you, you yeah. can't you know you can't listen to passing wins. <sighs> Eight to, eight PW to always thousand. comes by and drops yeah, something that just, takes my attention. Off does that mean that people are not looking at Marvel Strike Force? Like, how? What I see? So, whenever I see unique viewer, I'm always curious what that means. Unique and viewer just means just nine. means uh, a unique. So, like, uh, like uh, Kanage is a unique viewer. Uh, Hellfire is a unique viewer. So, there's unique viewers, as in they came to the stream. There were so different different people that you that, that did it. Meaning, like they didn't load you up on three different yeah, devices. Well, it was, it's a, it's unique, yeah, so it's a unique viewer yeah, in, okay. in regards to the fact yeah. that it was like, let's say, so let's say I have, a, let's say I'm, um, I have three hundred viewers right now. All right, this right. So three hundred viewers over six hours isn't just three hundred viewers. It could be twelve hundred unique viewers. So, Got so it. really, it's like your average viewership is composed of the unique viewers. Interesting. I never really like, eight to nine thousand. Yes, yeah, so wow. there's actually quite a few people. A lot, in, you know. So a twenty four hour stream kind of let me kind of see where. You know, it's it's there's a method in my madness. It's it's kind of like an idea of like where where are people? What are people watching? What are people watching? And you know, what is the, yeah. what is the reach? But it's also cool because I I break up the the giveaway so that each time slot gets a chance to win. No, that's fair. That's, that's, very, awesome. that's a very smart way to go. And you know, I, all of these things. I I don't want to sit here and say it's because you have experience and you're a little older and you've gained, you you understand how. Oh, no, that it, definitely obviously helps, it is, man. but I, mean, I don't. I, I just don't want to shit yeah. on young people right now. But I just see a lot of young young streamers who who <laughs> gain a platform and they just don't understand how things work. You know, what I'm saying like everything you just said is very smart from a business side, mm -hmm. from just a logistic side, from all these things, right? And and uh, <laughs> there needs. Well, that's the thing. They have so many little shits to come on here and think that they just want to get Twitch partnered and make money. And it's like, no, well, it has no, no, to no, 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 no. And you know this some above. Some kind of like the, the, your brand, guideline or something. Your brand. Know, like, right. But right. you're a brand. Right. Like, and you know this above everybody else here that like when you conduct yourself as a, as a persona, there has to be some kind of strong mm -hmm. branding behind you. So they look into this as a factor and like whether or not you're so popular on this platform or if you're popular on your social media, what attracts your viewers. So the fact that Remen sits down and actually like analyzes his right. own metrics and makes decisions based off that it's that's a, that's I'm, just I'm, that's I'm, just yeah, like I'm, I'm a brand I, part of it is a business but it's also understanding like how do i reach the community how do i engage right. the community and how do i make sure the people that are supporting me have the chance to to get something back so that's why a 24-hour right. stream sure. is interesting because you know on a, on a weekday when these guys so it's always a tuesday or a wednesday when a character gets released and i wind up having to do a 24-hour stream yep. in the middle of the week after you know i'm grocery shopping with my parents my 80 year old parents yep in grocery yep. shopping every week um but oh, you, you 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 goddamn sweet son of a gun so. i can't see you're too sweet <laughs> You're too sweet. <laughs> Dom's going to come over there you and kiss be you on careful. the lips, I, I, I have a car now. I'll come to Connecticut. <laughs> well, you know. well, just make sure you follow the uh, quarantine guidelines. We'll be fine. they six feet apart. I can't kiss you? In the, yeah, sanitize in the your yeah, lips you I, just, I just like... <laughs> just, just put I'll, on some, uh, some hand sanity I'll, on the I'll, lips. I'll like Mad Max Fury Road it with disinfectant spray. Yeah. Like, uh, so, so shiny! Uh, so yeah, they just from a perspective right. of... like, Let's say we have a... So if you want to do a quick recap, uh, X-Force, we're a, a, a good team. They're, if you're a new player or you're an experienced player, they, they definitely fit into your war offense slot very well. The only thing they probably can't beat uh, regularly would be Blackwater. Uh, so that's actually an interesting uh, idea is you have an offense team that is uh, better than than 
the Fantastic Four, and it's not locked behind a legendary character. So, so I can I can make a recommendation mm-hmm. based on that. Uh, the individual characters, while they are good, they they made certain character. Actually, every character in the team is good. Uh, the real the real shining uh, two characters are X twenty three by a lot, and then NTW, uh, just right there in, cool. in probably uh, the the mixture. From a perspective of like the new characters, the ones I'm hyped for, Squirrel Girl hype because you know it was something that my daughter loves, and the fact that we you know we got her the costume, and you know she she was just she's just that ball of energy, and you guys saw it on the right. on the stream. So it was really fun. Yeah, she, was really she's fun. just the personality. She she belongs in front of a camera as well. Uh, it was really so fun. she. Um, she, you know, so that was that was part of the puzzle. I think that Squirrel Girl is a good character. She enhances a lot of teams, uh, but we don't have the team where she really, you know. So there's probably a fifth character who, you know, you could, you know, probably mm-hmm. based on the series that she is, it might be Ghost Spider, aka Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen, yeah, so, yeah, that'd be cool. So we'll have to, so we'll have to see because it feels Gwen like the that's game. the thing that's missing right now because OG uh, Spider Man fits there the best because of the the um, the heels. Yes, yeah, so health, health. Yeah, there's her expletive deleted. Uh, moment, uh, just, <laughs> but that was funny. Uh, so then there's the uh, the aspect of you know they have a twenty percent range, so I would have liked to have seen that at thirty just because of that. But if you have defense down on a target, then they're going to be able to rip through and just keep healing uh, right. from perspective of that. Uh, then if we look at um, you know Beast, we we look at it as like a lackluster kit, but I think he can fit into a lot of people's rosters. So I don't think he's he's lackluster. I just think if we're comparing him to you know. Uh, to Emma Frost, we're probably not getting as hype. So it's probably part of yeah. it is part of right. it is what we thought we were going to get mo- a year ago. Because if you guys right, which is also hilarious. I mean, Beast was on the intro screen a while ago. Yeah. Let us not forget. Yes, like so, you know, I I got to be honest with you. I kind of see him being a flop, and I don't want him to be. Well, but I, so I, I, I think there's a chance to revisit it. We were trying to talk about the three things. So it was the speed he had to have. I wish he gave the team a two or three turn. Of the buffs and the fact that he had he yeah. didn't have the health that I thought he was that he was so low in the health pool. So the fact mm-hmm. is that they, that they're saying that actually with Stark Tech he's going to have higher health. Uh, the fact that he has a decent speed one sixteen isn't isn't a bad speed at all. Um, but the the fact that it's it's only a one turn of buffs. The concern is the only p- person giving that team the X Men uh, for a raid team offense down is Colossus and Colossus has to take a ton of damage, which, right. which he does help with, but he doesn't, he doesn't speed it up enough to where, where I would be, I would be like, like enthralled with him. So that's, that's one perspective. The next piece of the puzzle is, um, is Emma Frost, I think is going to be someone who, who could potentially be plug and play in a lot of teams. The fact that she's going right. to slow characters down, you combine her with her, her own slow and the fact that other units might, might slow and stun it's just going to be in, insane, you know. So I think that you might see some Marauder raid teams. Uh, It'll be interesting. Probably, yeah. probably uh, more so than you might see some X Men raid teams. So three supports this patch. Really fun patch. The, the highlight, the diamond in the rough per se would, so to speak, would be uh, <laughs> a nice pun. It would be pun intended. Would be Emma, Emma Frost. Uh, I think. I think I, I'm going to go hard for those diamonds. And what well, I, I honestly almost. Uh, I've been actually contemplating buying a pack for her. Do and it. I don't buy it. I, I usually don't do spend it. money on this game. And that's not, it's not because I don't want to spend I money on I play the game and tell you to do it. Times is rough, but I, I just so, really so, like Emma. So you're going to give up your free to play so monitor. Cool, Ooh, that's the only thing. That's only absolutely true. I mean, I, I technically am not free to play to begin with. I've already, I mean, I've spent like at least three hundred dollars on my account. But I say, I say free to play. I should say that I live the minnow life. Or I don't even think. Like I don't that. even think three hundred. Like, I have that. I think that it's like a. I, I have tadpole, never. I, I have never spent my money on on uh, gear. I've never spent it. I've only. I've. I think I bought two character packs, and then. But I, I do. I do like holiday bundles. That's usually if I'm going to spend money, I want something that has sure. value. And I've talked about it. I mean, we, on, we said it before that nothing. Podcast. And, you know, I think I think Remin hit it pretty good earlier. Is that the the things that they put in the store don't feel like the value, right? And I think that's important, dude. Come on, you're talking about you're gonna bring out Emma Frost, and it's like, do I want Ghost of Tsushima or do I right. want Emma it's Frost? Be 50 well, there you go. Maybe like, enter my contest and win because this is what'll work. If you win, hey. if you win the con. If you win, hey. if you win the I like contest, it. I like you'll it. win. I like somebody it. else will win. So there you go. So you're not taking anything I think that's away from a brilliant. Else. I think it's a brilliant. Way. I like it. Well, like you know, it. we talked about you, you know, and, and to 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 start ending us off here, we talked about the things you, we like in the game right now. You know, Chef, you talked about how you're actually having a place right now. Remy, you talked about a, kind of a, a, a mixed bag there and stuff. Is, is there anything? Is there anything in terms of things that you would want to see a little differently to make to make things a little better for the long he- the long uh, haul? 
for the future. Yes. I yeah, want so I think you're hitting the nail on the head there, Rondo. Yeah. Yeah. Because I because the dude the sun the, the see the thing is sucks right is that after we just had this conversation I have not purchased any bundles for X twenty three and I am so burnt yeah. out on Blitz and I, I I just couldn't bring myself Fair. to do it I literally could not bring myself mm-hmm. to I think I got uh, maybe like five or six mil and I just found myself being like yeah. dude I was like dude I finished those fun in the sun milestones like three days before the event ended dude I was running like six or seven rotations a day to get that done and it's just like it's yeah. draining you know what I mean and then prior to that there was another blitz events right before that that I had to go hard on because I wanted all the T14 gear which was worth it yeah. but it wears you down after a while and it's not and I'm not a blitz spotter, <laughs> so I can't just turn it on and and you know, be like, oh, hey, guess what? I don't give a shit. Well, let me, let me ask a separate whoop, question. Get all the free what, shit I what's want. What's the highest but... both of you have gotten in any blitz? Any any blitz? What's the highest? Do you remember? 34. I think I did 34 for Cole. Point? Right. No, but I mean, like, what is that number? Do you know? Let's top your head. Like, what is that number? Uh, in, in one day, I think it was, what, 17 million? Or uh, So... I'm sorry. Like oh, you're highest, talking about the highest yes. I've ever been played. No, not place. No, highest, the highest, highest amount of points you oh, accumulate. Uh, yeah, so it depends. Like, uh, it's hard to say because I only go for the red star, but on like after, like a featured character because it's an easy, easy goal. So, right. I mean, if you wanted to know what I could do with my, so that's the thing is, if you talk about a sim, Rondo, how many of the how many of the whales stop mm-hmm. buying packs and know that they could just sim their roster to a higher percentage? So that's the question you got to ask yourself. I still think that. They are well. I, I say they. You're no, right. I so like. I well, still I, feel like you spent three hundred dollars. You're the whale on this podcast. It's true. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Uh, no, well, I, I. There's a reason. I feel like before, um, before we get into that, there's a reason I ask this because the highest, I've, the most points I ever put, I got in the two percent or whatever the hell that that scale is, two two to six, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. I got to like fifteen million, and that was me going hard. Right, that was me hitting right. nearly every rotation I had, trying to hit everything eight point three, blah 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 blah. And I was like, never again will I ever do this. I if they did a blitz sim and I were to start playing again, I don't give a shit what the whales are doing because it wouldn't make my experience as terrible. And I think that's what's important. Right. But I see what Rem is saying is that if that, that could effectively reduce, reduce their income effect, reduce the amount of spending that the whales are doing for those blitz release characters, because they know that they're just with their fat rosters, they can go in there and just dominate the blitz thing. But the thing for me is that I find that a, a lot of people, well, I mean, I, I know a handful of people in pants of Hulk and what they do for a living and what their schedules do not permit them to be able to log in right. every two hours or uh, even four yeah, or fair. six. They just, they just, they work all day and they make a shitload of money. So it's no skin off their back. If they spend a thousand dollars for a character, like it's actually more cost effective for them to just buy the character sure. than it would be for them to, to take their attention off of work to play this game. So that's the the balance there. Someone like myself, I don't make seven hundred thousand dollars a year, so I can't go and just buy drop a thousand dollars or seven seven hundred dollars on a character. Like I have to grind them out because that's the style that I play. So I, I feel like it, it could be good and bad but I, I they have to do it because i don't think that i think that everybody's number one outcry in the game right now is Bl- there needs Blitz to burn. be a reduction of screen time well no it's a reduction of screen time that was one of the biggest things about the fix msf movement was to reduce the amount of time that we are required to play to this game to be it? effective sure. at the highest level of gameplay and i mean if you do u7 on you know d3 or above man i mean it takes it takes me a hot minute to grind through that because i got to do I got to do all my energy hits for the day and, you know, I have to blow, I have to blow multiple teams cause I'm not, you know, God tier, like some, most mm-hmm. people that are at that, that level of play. So for me, I spend a bare minimum of two hours a day, on, uh, bare minimum two hours a day on the game. One, one hour in the morning, you know, 30 minutes here and there, usually on average, probably three, three and a half, four hours a day on the game. And dude, for a mobile that's game, a that's a yeah. lot, you know, and I'm not mm-hmm. even, and I'm not even blitzing right now. So like, you know, Whales don't have that kind of time, so it's it's. I, I would be interested to see how it's going to affect things. But well, at the I, same let's step back a bit. Do it, we have a confirmation? Blitzim is happening. Uh, so so we, oh, we know happening. that it looks like it's been data mined. We don't know if it's actually got it. Well, didn't didn't Valley post a, a vi- or he he did a video where like I guess he logged in and I don't know if that was like a test account or like a somebody like whipped together a, a Photoshop image for him or something. But he logged in and had the the. 
the the, the, the interface for it, and it was like all messed out. Yeah, like you know how you log in sometimes and everything's messed up, and like you know it has like the actual line of code, like user ID, blah blah blah, goes here and that kind of stuff. Like the wireframe of the UI, like he had a, a image of that, and it kind of alluded to what it might look like. Interesting, but there's been no hard. I mean, like he, like Remen yeah, said, so I, I, I didn't I didn't catch that, that value. So. I'll take a look at it, but I, I will tell you that there is a. Um, that, you know, it's probably one of those scenarios where you got to feel that if it's probably been in development, they're going to try to find a way to make money off of it. Just like ISO 8s were yeah. delayed for, geez, the, almost the better part of a year now. Yeah. Um, which is, which is you yeah. know, so so you asked me a question. What do I think the current state of the game is? And so if, if we went back sure. to like fix MSF, and which is the first time I hung out with you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And we talked about yeah, where the yeah. game is now. I feel like it's in a much better spot. And, and Oh, I would agree. I would agree. Hundred yeah. percent. So, hundred percent. So the, the thing about it is, is, is um, I like the fact that they kept a roadmap because I can actually sit there. I can open up the uh, the release uh, spreadsheet that that Tana maintains and pretty much predict what the next characters coming to the game are. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like that there are there are some um, specific. Uh, things that I wish were different, but nothing that would make me sit there and go, "I'm I'm gonna quit the game." The communication has been spot on. I, I think that, sure. that, that the yep. uh, the idea that we're getting all this information about the game, the blogs have been relatively robust. That's the holiday. Uh, that the response to some of the bugs, whether or not we like it or not, has been quick. Uh, and, and obviously, there's some things that um, we can talk about that are bug slash features, like the double cough on Black Bolt. But some people I know use that to win in the arena against uh, black order teams. So, so if you that should happen to me the other day, and I was like, "Did he just double burp me?" And I and I yeah, I didn't even yeah, know the double burping was a thing. So there's an that's good to know though. Yeah. So if the idea behind it is that they're really kind of making those uh, they make some strides. Is it perfect? Uh, no. Obviously, it still feels like there's a higher price uh, for entry for for if you look at the shop, it feels. Um, they feel like a high price, and I think that sure. if you, you know if, if you guys don't tune into Mobile Gamers Offer Review, where eighteen hundred people are tuning in live every day, yeah. they'll tell you that, that that some of the offers feel like trash because of the, the yeah. fact that there's there's just such a high price. There isn't no there's no value there. But that right. that's a thing that marketing can probably eventually say. Oh well, these guys are telling us it's, maybe we should try this, and we start to see some of those dollar ninety nine offers for fifty shards yeah. come up that are helping new players run out their roster. So. Uh, if, if a game like this grows, the sky's the limit, and potentially they can probably look more at conversion and stop looking at milking the whales, and then the game becomes a lot more accessible to everyone. Right. Then- there could be there could be a beautiful balance there. You know, that's the thing about DSA that I, or Disney that I like is that they do that. What you just said. I mean, the, like they have it anywhere from they have the ten dollar packs, they have the twenty dollar packs, thirty, forty, mm-hmm. fifty, Jeez. up to a hundred, and it's like. They'll they'll roll out you know like at least once a week with this like twenty dollar um, chest bundle you know what I mean and it gives you like the three different kinds of chests you can open in the game and there's a ton dude you're getting like twenty thirty shards out of it different character shards out of this thing and it's like that's a good because bu- I because I I play with a, in a club where people have a, there's a bunch of whales and mm-hmm. they love those offers you know what I'm saying that thing comes are out playing with are you playing with Wiki and Don? Them, you know. No, I tried, but they were they were. Uh, I wasn't good enough to be in the club. Uh, but no, nah, I'm just kidding. They they it, 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 I I actually got in with this crew called the Exiled Sons, and they're they're pretty cool. They let me in when I was at low, oh, nice. and we're you know we're yeah. we're smashing. It's a fun it's a fun little casual game. I play it casually. Yeah. I do the Tap Joy offers on the Times Two event days, and I actually am like on Dolphin status, and I yeah. haven't spent a dime on the game. And it's it's that's one thing that I actually find interesting, right? Is that they don't that that, that I guess that's because Fox Next created this game. However, that is a very scopely esque type move that they put that in the game where you can do these mm-hmm. offers where you play these other games that are scopely branded or they're affiliated with scopely somehow, and you get a pile of gems. Or in this instance, it would be cores. I would be very so happy. Tap, if so they added that so, in do you know what Tap Joy is? Just done? throwing that out there. Uh, that sounds familiar, but, but tap I don't think choice, so. So, so tap, tap choice it's basically, it's an alternative oh, way to earn currency. Basically, you, you fulfill advertisers' requests, you get um, the in-game currency. So with this, we'd probably get cores for basically right. visiting a game, yeah. going to like beard, beardclubformen.com or, you know, yeah. like 
Yeah. They either have those or like they have the ones you can yeah. play like Star Trek or uh But this does not exist for MSL. Right it it existed MSL. a lot in other no. games. I think it was what Marvel sure. Contest of Champions and I think uh had Tap Joy and I believe it was um well I, yeah, in DSA. Interesting. I mean I don't think yeah. I mean I know it's an, it would be annoying to have ads in the game or doing that shit, but if you can get free stuff out of it, whatever. I don't know. Personally, I don't give a shit. Well, like so for instance, I, I play I play Scrabble like for like 20 minutes a day, right? And when I hit this when I hit this one milestone, Wait, I Scrabble get like the gems. game Scrabble. So it's like Yeah, dude, I download like like one of the offers. So like oh, every I, two okay, weeks it's from this thing where you can get it. Okay. You can get double the amount of Yeah, because it's it's an advertising thing, right? So right, right. Okay, company, I'm sorry. I just get, like, oh, honestly, I didn't really Scrabble. <laughs> yeah. Run advertisement. Yeah, well, well, Scrabble's one of the games that's owned by Scopely. Wheel of Fortune and Scrabble yeah, they have, owned they, by they Scopely. Scopely does so, like, a lot of, that's the thing, integrates is that, a lot of this, their, their sure. uh, stuff into cross them. Cross-play stuff that'll give you stuff? So, with the, with, with the fact that DSA does have all of the predatory... Actually, you want to talk about predatory, scummy business moves? Holy shit, they're like infinitely worse than, than Marvel Strike Force. However... I have the option of taking my free time to play other games that supports them advertising wise that benefits me and I don't have to spend, but I can keep up with people that are spending a right. large amount of money on the game. Interesting. I think that's cool. And uh, I, I don't actually, I don't yeah, know, we're, 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 we're going to move on because we're getting late in this. Let's so let's yeah. no, you're good. You're good. Sorry, you're good. Sorry. Uh, I, I don't have the, I don't have the ske- the scheduling uh, focus that Charlie does. So I apologize. Charlie's really good. Like we got to go. Dude, uh, we're, we're, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's because that's because he's a, he, that's what he does. Right. Uh, no, his job. no, he's actually, no, he's no sitting I there like, that. come on guys. I should be the one that's dropping oh. the hammer here. <laughs> Charlie sits on his goddamn computer or behind a camera like uh, when's lunch. I'm the one that's like, all right, we got to fucking move. We got to keep going. Uh, but uh, so we, we talked about the thing. Uh, any I, I think I know the answer. It seems like they, we talked a little bit about it in terms of uh, war team uh, advice right now. What do, what do you what do y'all got? It seems like X-Force is a big deal. Yeah. Uh, X Force, not, not not just because X is going to give it to you, but well, X Force is a big deal. So if you're, you're going to take X Force on there, you, you just want to make sure. Uh, I, I will we'll go over. I'll do some quick T four recommendations. So passive on NTW, passive on Domino, passive on X twenty three, and then Ult on um, NTW or Essentials. Uh, going into the team, they can beat quite a few different teams, and it's it's going to be target selection. The more times you can trigger the speed up from X twenty three by dropping a character below half is a good deal. Remember, when you actually use X-23 to ability block, uh, you, you're going to get that second attack is always going to land, and always, it's it's not in the kit, it doesn't say it in the kit, but it is always going to apply ability block because it's not something that can be resisted by um, by the deflect. So it, it ignores the deflect and does full damage. So it's a ton, it's a ton of damage. She, yeah. so she's a machine. Um, from a perspective of... Uh, teams they can beat. Well, it's Asgard. It's mercenaries uh, in in most rooms. Watch out for defense down because that's the, like their kryptonite is that they, right. they do get hit. They don't have the extra. They're not getting extra hit points like other teams do. Um, but uh, huge note. Yeah, so that's a big note. You know, and then uh, obviously, I, I think that you have to just watch out for matchups where you know if you're looking at your team power and a your opponent has a. Uh, G14 Hella, well, that's something you want to be aware of because maybe that's not going to be an easy win for you because you're looking at the comparative power when realistically you may not be able to do everything you want to do with your team. You're going to get some resists um, based on that. It's good to know. I think that defense down bit, I personally, when I was war doing war stuff, I never paid attention to what rooms had <laughs> certain buffs or debuffs, yeah. and that bit me a bunch. Oh, I not. tell you what, dude. Don't take Aimtron into an Asgardian team in the cargo bay because that is like nightmare city, dude. Because you'll have you'll have Chef Krondo oh, luck, and you'll walk in there, oh, and it'll be right. it'll be Thor. Thor. No, no, no. The last time I did it, yeah, that exactly happened. All of them had immunity, and Thor was in Viz. I was like, yeah, what? Like, what on earth am I supposed to do about this right now? Like, he's like the number one stun I need to go for. Number one and just, I think it's it, very important to pay attention to the rooms that you're going work. into attack. It's definitely an important deal. Don't be like, yeah. yeah. Like, don't punch Don't punch up too far in security or yeah, in a room I, that I is a punch up security. Punch, punch that down is, idea because I think you have to understand what the mechanics, what you're facing isn't going to be a punch up or punch down because if you're, you have to make sure your team can counter the team 
based on the merits of the, the impor- power yes, of, very of important. each individual versus the individual. If you're looking at raw, I, I think the the punch up punch down idea is very is a good guideline or not even guideline a good like starting point maybe for for mm-hmm. certain things. But I I think that's a very good point to make. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, again, it's just you're going to lose more fights if you just by the the, the virtue of you miscalculated because you have a hundred and thirty five k Thor. And right. you didn't stun him. You didn't land the stun. So right. I, I've definitely I've, I've lost teams. I've lost Rip. matches of that because I thought my punch up was going to be good enough, but it didn't matter. Yeah, yeah definitely. You could lose punch downs that way. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. Oh god, that I feel like punch down. Da- losing a happens. punch down is like the worst feeling. But so, so there is a note I want to end on. But before we do any anything else, you guys want to want to throw throw out there before we no. we throw it out. There was one little quality of life feature that oh, I was really happy they added to the game, which uh, was the um, the numbers added to the store, and then there also was the uh, Ultima store. Ultima store, yeah, really awesome. Didn't go over. So the, the, so but, the ult- I didn't even know that existed. So there's an Ultra yeah. store. It's called an Ultra store, and what it is is that your Ultimus credits now can either earn you Ultimus uh, orbs or let you buy mm-hmm. a extraordinarily overpriced uh, orange gear orb. Got it. Got it. Thank got you it, for saying it. that, Remen, because I opened up one of them, and the first one I opened was a Mystic one, and I got two lattices for 10,000 10, Ultimate Shards. Yes, you heard that correct. Oof. Yes. So for five, for the price of five Ultimus Orbs, I can open up one of these orbs. Oh now, however, That's I will say that the catalyst, the catalyst Orb was actually far more fruitful. I got 30 Advanced Damage Catalysts, I got 15 SBCs, and I got 15 of the Accuracy ones. It's still expensive, but Dang. that one was left left less of a sour taste in my mouth as yeah. the two lattices for ten k. But um, ten thousand. Well, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, ten thousand. <laughs> But the 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 ad, the ability to toggle on the feature where underneath an item in the store it actually oh, so you, oh my God. Item, yeah, for me is really now, nice. Yeah, the inventory. Now all they need is because... to toggle on the numbers for your health bars, so you can see how much health you have. Because that would <laughs> that, then the game is such in a good place. I, I you know, yeah. I'll see you in twenty twenty one. Yes, you will. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's. I will say, yeah, people in here have. If you've listened to the show, you've definitely heard, heard you me ranting? ranting and bitching you've ranted and about, about a lot of things in the game. A little, a few times. <laughs> yeah. um, me? No. But I, 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 as we were saying, I, I like the directions it's it's heading in. I hope that they continue on this path. I hope that they keep up the communication. And if they kind of keep this ebb and flow of like releasing a team for war, offense and defense and offense and defense, that's fine. But I do like what, what Remen was touching on earlier in this conversation about the fact that there this this patch is three support characters that at the current moment are kind of plug and play minus Emma. No, really. I, I, but Emma's you, actually, you can kind of build the different plug and play, the least plug and play character. Emma actually only gets she doesn't get any marauder specific. She only has a very small textual yeah. Oh, no, the, even what, even then, so even, even, she has a small textual thing for war defense. Otherwise, you could kind of like plug them in a different. There's, yeah. Oh, got it. Oh. I, I understand what you're saying. Okay, yeah. I, I, yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I, you totally agree. So, yeah. I, but I like the fact that there are three characters that aren't necessarily a full team, like the X Force. Oh, that's the, a good point, you know, right? You don't have to, you don't have to get all yeah, of these. And they enhance like characters these, these... already on your roster that, as a right. new player, maybe you're building up towards. Yeah. Like, this is the first chance you get, and that's what kind of the thing I like is. Uh, you guys know what happened to Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, right? Is that like a surprise that we guys ever oh, talk about? Right. That? It was the it was the the Revan update, right? Well, no, more, more re- yeah, more recently they. Oh, recently. So more recently, they, Star Wars. They, they, uh, there was a, an incident with Arnold, and then there was a, a kind of a, ma- a, a mass exodus, oh, and then yeah. they did this whole release of uh, Jedi Luke, and so people are kind of like, uh, "What's going on with this game?" So uh, I, I thought the game. I didn't even oh, know the that game, game was, still was happening. That's well, how. That, so it's happening, it is, man. A lot of players yeah. are coming over, uh, and so they're they're enjoying this game. They're they're learning from the, the they're learning that the mechanics here are much better. They're even if they're not as attached to the characters, the, they like the community better. So it's actually. Mm. Um, Can I tell you one feature that I would love for them to rip yes, from done. Star Wars? <laughs> I would love for them to add some kind of raid boss. Like oh, sure, that would be cool. Star Wars, where it's like collectively we have to compile our teams to kind of like combat a one giant boss mm. that has like multiple phases That'd be very i kind of think that would be fun i mean maybe there maybe it doesn't work mechanically speaking maybe it's like a, a, a joke at this point in the game i don't know but i kind of like those features in these games well, I, but then yeah, again i think i think there's something I mean, add, you know so there, there's a lot of things you know they're going to be banned about is dark dimension four a thing probably 
is it, yeah. is there yeah, going to be yeah. so what's coming to this game in the future like if i looked at my crystal ball i think they're going to think there's probably a room to, to 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 add more features but war is not in a good spot still war matchmaking sure. still sucks unless you're doing what we do and, and either chase or get chased we fought the this season we fought the two the three and the six alliances as number four so because, yeah. because we're, we put Oof. it out there we want we want a challenge because you can't learn from playing and, and just beating on whatever else is in your time slot and so wars right. themselves are sure. unfulfilling for a lot of people so yeah uh, as a game mode considering that it requires so much time i mean if you think about it war is probably even more than blitz probably requires more of your time you know it yeah. happens maybe too frequently a week I, I, there's something they have to find kind of a a hot putt and really that would that would make a difference um, but there's a lot of different ways they can make like characters that would be be interesting to, to fight against as a kind of a whole like assembled team. Sure, and it's kind of it's, it, we have to do well in it because it's kind of what we get the T4, most rewards all your, from in a, a sense. A lion's share of your a lion's share of your mini uniques come mm-hmm. from there, so that's kind of the big deal. So yeah. And for yep. me, you can buy Mr. Sinister Shards. <laughs> well, uh, that, was a, that, was a, man, that was a lot of information. I feel like I kind of know a little bit what's going on in the game right now, which is funny, because I'm not that, playing. That's the goal. That's, that's good. The goal. If, we're, if yes, we're catching exactly. you up, yeah. that's, that's, that's the new MSF catch Insiders, yes, the catch-up exactly. dummy on what's going exactly. on every two, every week. Uh, yes. Before we sign off, I do want to give a, 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 all of our condolences out to Mr. Free-to-Play. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, his daughter, oh, yeah. unfortunately, is having some some health issues right now, and he's had to take a, a leave of absence. Uh, for those of you who know, Mr. Free to Play, super super dope dude. Free to Play account has a really cool nice angle of and, uh, doing yeah. content to to show not just like a how you could do it just by buying things. He he shows you the free to play way to do it, and it's very good content. Great community, great YouTube stuff. Uh, super cool dude. Also trying to be. Uh, get envoy status right now and if there's anyone that should do it, it, it it's it's a cool dude like that so uh obviously we wish him uh, all the best with his his family health issues and also uh continuing forward doing doing content for for this game that uh, we're all playing you know so uh big shout out to him and um again remin thank you so much for uh hopping into the shoes of uh of vet Oh yes, please. Hey, before you, you end else. this, oh, I got to plug, plug this real quick. My alliance, my alliance, the last resort. Plug we're it. looking for two people, <laughs> and we just finished. We just finished forty first in our war season. Unfortunately, one of our captains is going through some stuff personally, so he's decided That'll to happen. step down. And you know, we just have a couple. We have two people like that that they just got too much going on. So, uh, if you're looking Discord. for a alliance, we're looking for anybody that has around six million TCP or higher, or you know, around that ballpark range. Hit me up on Discord. In the OG podcast server, or you can hit me up at Chef Crondo, uh, hashtag 5818, 5818. So, yeah, I just wanted to plug that because I'm, I'm a get it. I'm getting it. So, uh, you know, I might as well use go, my resources. Cut my up. life yeah. into pieces. Um, piece. oh this my is God. my last Why are you doing Papa, pa- Papa Roach right now? last reason. You know what? No, oh, my no, God. No, dude, no, so, thank you so much, everyone, for coming. This is the Overachievers Gaming Podcast, Marvel Strike Force Inside Edition, Episode 32. Uh, with me, Ash Pastrami, Chef Prana, Remnix filling in for Vash. You can find us at beanoverachiever.com, Instagram, OG.podcast, Twitter, OverachieversP, all your streaming platforms. You can find Remnix on twitch.com slash Remnix, uh, YouTube at Remnix Force, I think. YouTube at Remnix, uh, Twitch TV, Remnix, and Twitter, Remnix Force. Remin X Force on Twitter. All right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Remin. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. We will be back again in uh, uh, a, a really whenever Travis gets back. Cool. cool. You hang out for a little bit here? Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs>